Hello and welcome. I'm Lawrence O'Brien, Global Product Marketing Manager for IDLE here at OpenText, and I'm going to explain to you the importance and some of the features of upgrading to the latest version of IDLE. Since IDLE 23.2 is a major release, we hope everyone will upgrade. And it includes new ingest text analytics and rich media analytics features and provides the new conceptual graph analysis API. There's also improved speech to text extraction, improved facial recognition and person name variant search, as well as a number of bug fixes. Please note that the recent purchase of Microfocus by OpenText has changed the release numbering scheme to 23.2. Now, this signifies a release in the second calendar quarter of calendar year 2023. There are several new ingest connectors driven by customer requests, including a Zendex connector, an Amazon EFS connector, TikTok connector, and Google and RSS news connectors. There are also some updates to the feed connector and to the ODBC connector as well. Ingest features have been added federated enrichment. This allows ingested items to be further processed through ancillary systems to provide even more detailed data. The example here is a license plate being recognized can then be looked up at an authority or agency for vehicle information to add to the information. In text analytics, IDLE 23.2 provides conceptual graph Analytics is an API to expose the new fusion of unstructured and structured data analysis features. Also, we have a person name variant search, uh, the ability to search for similar names within a system. We've added some new personally identifiable information capabilities for a couple of additional countries. Media analytics has been upgraded with face recognition and detection with increased accuracy and recall, providing higher confidence and increased efficiency, and speech to text. New models for improved word accuracy across the board increases downstream efficiency. And also we've got new hair and head cover classifiers, which gives us increased ability for surveillance video matching for people. Also KeyView brings about some 53 newly detected formats, as well as Arabic PDF, Bold and James metadata update and iWork updates, and the new metadata engine providing increased depth of view into more file types. There's also been some performance and security improvements. But let's talk about a quick guide for determining what version of IDLE you are currently running. You can see it in your admin about screen. You can also go to the command line to find out which version you are running. And your executable properties details screen will also tell you which product version you're running. So how to upgrade. Idle 12 has been out since 2018, and all current customers should really be at some level of version 12. If you're not on version 12, you would have to first upgrade to version 12 and then to 23.2. And please note that for 12.6 committed support ends in July this year, an upgrade to Idle version 23.2 from 12.x requires a new license, as does the upgrade of KeyView from version 12 to 23.2 please contact Open Text and request your new license key. If you're also updating your key view from the 2012 version, you'll have to recompile the code. Python scripts are included to help with this transition, and this is a major release. And for releases not designated as major, we make every effort to ensure that you can upgrade by replacing just the key view binaries without changing or recompiling your code. And this document will assist in your upgrade. Always check the current admin and related manuals for any IDOL or IDOL related content. And the links here will take you to those locations. If you need help with the planning or implementation of IDOL, or in fact the upgrade, then contact Open Text Professional Services as they're standing by to help. Check out the dedicated at your service site available on this IDOL upgrade resource page to show you partners who will also be able to assist. Thank you very much.